Fastest intro you've ever heard me speak. Ready, set, Gentlemen, what is going on? Hope you're all having a great day. If you're not, you came to the right place as usual because we have a banger for you today. It's gonna be so good vibes as always. <gasps> Sorry about the inconvenience there. My editor should have put, you know, volume warning before that happened. Oh wait, he did. Oh wow. Maybe he's not so bad after all. All right. So without further ado, let's hop into the video. If you guys are not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you are subscribed. If you guys want the best news source outlet drama coverage vibe city positivity um personality place to be for apex legends youtube also don't forget to check out my second channel mr golden nuggets my camera equipment just came in today basically i'm going to be doing this goofball stupid idiotic reaction to world drama that's going on as well so if you want more of this but maybe a little better then go check it out link in the description also i may or may not be giving away your choice of glitch energy killer jerky or apex coins if you comment on any of the videos like any of the videos and subscribe on any of the videos on the channel uh yeah so just just putting that out there all right so first story of the day this one is a little bit crazy not what i was really expecting to see this morning so i got on twitter and i saw this tweet right here this is coming from apex legends esports or head of esports i guess you would say head of the uh, apex competitive side of things and this is what he said one of the things our team aspires for is ensuring players have a good experience in the algs be it ghost handling through nice wigs controller issues in poland or ensuring quick payments for tourneys we'll follow up with champs prizing payouts and get an update as soon as possible so you would think okay this is good discrepancy being you know kind of transparent with the community but the only issue is this didn't just come out of nowhere I appreciate this guy. I appreciate pretty much everyone involved on Respawn. I think they do a solid job. Unfortunately though, it, it honestly does sadden me a bit to see these kind of statements come out that people wanted to hear only when people call them out for it. So if you're wondering where this came from, it simply came from Reckon, which by the way, I agree is a crybaby. However, here he definitely has all reason to be crying. So he said, I deleted my tweet before because it was simply a meme and not intended to create a scene. The tweet was, I should have known it would reflect badly on Respawn. Ghost and Shannon have always taken incredible care of us and done everything right. I will think before I tweet. Now, Here's my problem with Respawn uh, a lot of times. I don't think this is with everybody. Obviously, Respawn's got a ton of people working over there. I think a lot of them are really solid. But just in general, just as a whole, I think they kind of sometimes are bad about going to shame people that have every right in the world to be upset. Like, oh, you shouldn't have said that. Oh, you shouldn't have done that. When in reality, they kind of should have. If you've not been paid for, I think this is all going back towards like Winter Circuit and stuff. If they've not been paid for it, look, hey guys, it's time to pay up. It really is. I mean, it should not be taking this long. This is taking way too long. We know Fortnite got called out for the same stuff and we don't want that happening over Apex. It's a good thing when your community stands up and says, hey, this needs to be fixed. And unfortunately, they were kind of shamed and kind of forced to delete all these tweets here uh, and instead had to apologize for it. I don't think they need to apologize for just being honest about how they're being done wrong. and. I don't know someone even replied said so it was it a meme or fact he said it is true that no one has been paid for it it was a meme that i was upset and going to open a lawsuit so to the original tweet he made saying that no one has been paid shannon actually replied and said er i'd suggest you or your org reach out to the payments email i believe this should have been handled already to my knowledge most algs payments should have been paid out fairly quickly if all the necessary info was submitted nice clickbait tweet though seriously calling it clickbait and then he replies reckon replies saying not sure if intended gaslight or not but i'm not aware of a single team that has been paid not clickbait and then he says in that case i'll follow up this week and see what the holdup is then that's where we got this update tweet and now saying that he's going to check on you know ensuring quick payments for the attorneys look why are we blaming pros for clickbaiting tweets when they're saying the truth when they're telling the truth why can't they just stand up and say hey we were wrong you called us out you are right let's fix it let's make it right let's make this thing better and instead we don't see that often and i don't know why no one's going to be mad at respawn if they just come out and say you are totally right we're going to get that handled right now there's actually this issue that we were facing and we should have probably came out earlier and let everyone know that this was the issue we were facing but it's like why can't we just be okay with being wrong 
and just admit that we are wrong and say you know what i made a mistake ow i poked my eye i made a mistake and i'm gonna put my sophisticated glasses on and say you know i'm gonna be a bigger person today and i'm gonna say you were right i'm gonna say i was wrong i was completely wrong but that's not the way they like to do it they like to immediately jump to the nice clickbait tweet without actually knowing what's going on once a bunch of people come out and say you know what he's right then they step back and say okay i'll check into it come on dude we need a lot more humility than that hey much love to respawn i mean I like the game. The game's a great game. I love I, I love Apex. I, this season is feeling great. I said it on Twitter the other day. This season is feeling phenomenal. But just we can all do better in our certain vicinity of what do you call it? We can all do better on ourselves. Yeah, that's what I'll say. Well, we can do better on ourselves. How about that? But I don't know. I heard people came over trying to like back respawn up, like other people from respawn trying to defend themselves without even knowing the situation, not even knowing if they're right or wrong. Just saying, just throwing shade at these pros for complaining even a bunch of pros in the comments that you can see right here are saying the same thing that they were not paid for champs that's when they decide to humble themselves and say okay we'll check up on it why 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 are they so prideful to just say first off okay let me check into it and they just immediately jump to saying oh nice clickbait tweet bro i'm so sick of this just be up front just be honest be a bigger person humble yourself and just be okay with being wrong there's nothing wrong with being wrong Wait, I know this is in the middle of the recording, but I just realized that if I'm giving away 5,000 Apex coins and I'm giving away some coins on the second channel, uh, <laughs> I'm going to be broke. All right, coming in at the second topic today, this one also a little crazy, but I think a lot of people are misinformed on this. So uh, uh, there's been this stuff going around about Apex solos is coming back. All these old maps are coming back. You can play all this OG stuff that you want to play and it is true but it's also not true so let me explain what's going on so thornton smash made a really good video explaining a lot of it basically someone is creating or has created a new or an older build has i guess you would say uh recycled or harvested i don't know an old build of apex and basically they've made a, a, a new game but it's just a copy of apex at its older version or older state i don't know that's probably the best way i know how to put it because i'm not very you know I'm not very tech I'm tech savvy but I'm not like that tech savvy I'm not really cool like shrug tall or anything like that I'm not that I'm not at that level yet okay so basically they simply just like have an old update of apex where you can go and play all these old modes if they get enough people to play I don't know if this is legal I have no idea I'm not saying it should be or shouldn't be I'm not saying you should go try it because I don't know if it's going to get me in trouble I'm just saying this stuff existed some guy just created an old version of apex and you can go play solos you can do all this other stuff these old maps new maps i don't know all these crazy abilities all these old game modes and yeah go have fun it's it looks cool sounds cool but oh also apparently you can like create your own custom servers and lobbies and stuff and do all this crazy like you can make your own maps i don't know if that's true but i just think this apex needs to do it themselves and who cares about what other people are creating just implement this stuff yourself because you know you can if apex had like this forge mode that halo had where you could literally build a free world and then like play on dude like why it seems like over the years we like declined in our like what would you call that uh we have declined in our practicality uh was that the word i don't think so innovation maybe i feel like gaming was more innovated back then than it is now i mean counter-strike old game but look at the custom stuff you can do on there fortnite well no fortnite got better fortnite did some things quicker but it didn't start that way halo had some good stuff i mean all these older games had private matches private matches are like a thing of the past now i don't know let me know what you guys think down in the comments below about all of this all right and moving on to the golden nuggets last section of the day we got a few quick things number one i usually don't talk about leak stuff so kind of bear yourself it's not too big of a deal shrug tall basically tweeted out or actually didn't tweet out he made a video i don't know why i'm so used to saying tweeted out shrug tall made a video about a new grenade called i guess it's called syro or cairo syro i don't know basically instead of adding new weapons to a season they're potentially thinking about adding just new grenades we've not had a new grenade since launch so i think it'd be pretty cool it's basically like an ice thermite kind of sort of thing we don't really know how it works but it we think it's like a radius and possibly could do a little bit of damage maybe slow you i don't know it looks pretty cool though also in the news golden nuggets people are thinking and maybe hoping that respawn will actually add something from halo infinite a feature that they have 
basically where you can go back and redo old battle passes that you miss a lot of people with apex would love this because they want some of the og skins some of the old paddle pass skins and basically this would allow you to go back and redo some old battle passes that you missed or that you didn't finish so let me know what you guys think down in the comments below if you did enjoy this video make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as always i will see you on the next one have a great rest of your day it's vibrant only positivity i can speak faster than anybody bro eminem is afraid to diss no just kidding all right peace out guys later gators